Hello, hello. I am here with Peter Polikopu. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yes. Wendy. Yeah, great to see you. It's nice to see you. You're a bit of a legend, here. aren't you, really? Oh, it's just, it's just you. <laughs> Growing all the time. Uh, well, not in stature, but in size not, in another no, way. No, no. <laughs> That's okay, though. I may be short, but I make up for it. Well, my followers do, anyway. Yeah. Um, now, here we are in Dress Circle. Yeah. Amazing. Fantastic place. Uh, a real place. Aladdin's okay. cave. Oh, yeah. And a place where I think. Uh, a lot of people that love musical theatre, you know, think consider as a bit of a shrine, really. You know. Oh, of course. Yeah. I think a lot. I could spend too much money in here. I think we all could. Way <laughs> too much money. <laughs> um, now, your CV. Wow. You, but you've done so much stuff. It's amazing. It's well, amazing all the stuff you've done. I guess um, I've been around a long time, and that helps. Oh no, no, no. It's all good. I mean, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, one of the reasons I'm here is I want to talk to you about the songs of my life, yeah. which is an evening with yourself. Yes. Wow. At the Garrick. At the Garrick Theatre on yeah. the 11th of December. Um, uh, yeah. I suppose the thing to say about the songs of my life, Wendy, yeah. is yeah. that from my point of view, right, it's um, looking at the songs that I've really enjoyed singing over the years. Oh, yeah. Some of the songs awesome. that I've really wanted to challenge myself with yeah. as well. And to, to tackle those things that you know, after all this time, I really wanted to put in one program. Oh, so it's yeah. not just songs from musical theatre, though there will be things like, you know, songs from the Saigon, and yeah. maybe certainly they're kind of staples, but also, anything. Yeah, but, yeah. but also things from Imagine This, I'm going to do Imagine oh, This, which yeah. is, oh, wow. you know, I, I think some of the wonderful music that we yeah. for that. Um, and I'm, I'm going to do some Randy Newman, I'm going to do some oh, Stevie Wonder, and a lot of other material as well. I cannot wait for that, that is so cool. Uh, and you have an amazing cast with you. Yeah, we do. Oh my God. We, do. we uh, have uh, Hannah Waddingham. Oh yeah. Oh, um, I love Hannah. Oh, she's fantastic. She's amazing. I had the great good fortune to uh, to work with her recently down in yeah. Chichester. Yeah. And she came and did another thing that I was doing down there. But um, I said to her, do come and do this. Um, she's going to do something from Ragtime. Oh. Uh, I think she's going to do a song called Back to Before. Oh my God. And then That's we're going to cool. do a duet together, that wonderful uh, song from Spamalot. Yeah. Um, so am I allowed That's to say that or not? That's going to be awesome. Okay. So. Well, subject to change. Yes. It, ne it never is set in stone. And some artists are subject to availability as well, yes. as we of know. Of course, yes. Of course. Um, now so Hannah's going to appear. Hannah's going to be there. You've um, got other amazing names we there. We do. Wow. Yeah, we've got Simon Bowman, who Simon and I go back to Miss Saigon days. Yeah. And, and actually, even before that, he was in Les Mis with me all those oh, years ago. Cool. He took over the Marius, and he did Phantom as well. Um, so Simon and I go back to almost like 1986. Yeah. And Claire Moore. Yeah. Um, she's going to be there as well. We've got Michelle Collins, who I did the TV oh, yeah, series yeah, with all those did. years ago. That's awesome. You also did a short film with her, right? That's right, yes. Yeah. A film called Broken. Amazing. Yeah. yeah she uh, now, uh, for those who don't know, it was a Greek Cypriot immigrant family in the 60s, right? Yes, right, yeah. 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 And it was about um, the father of the family was having yeah. an affair with an English mistress. Oh, Michelle. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, and yeah, apparently a lot, of, a lot of the Greek men at that time were doing that. And it was reflective, uh, Vicky, who wrote for the film and directed yeah. it, it said it was reflective of her own family history. So oh. it's quite a, a powerful little film, yeah. actually. She won an awful lot of prizes for it. Yeah. She's Amazing. a terrific filmmaker. Do you enjoy the film? I do. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I think it, it's very well told. Uh, it was done on, on, on you know, on I think about a ten thousand pound budget, so wow. a very small budget. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of film. yeah. But she had all these kind of uh, um, wonderful locations that she managed yeah. to get, favors that she had, camera people that she got. Oh, so cool. it was a terrific film. Did you go to Cyprus to film it? No, no. We no? we did it uh, all in North London. Oh wow! Because wow. the story there was set. The story was set in, um, you know, the start of the film were the, the guy's family coming yeah. over from Cyprus to uh, live with okay. him. And the daughter, his, his young and very perceptive young daughter, yeah. like you, oh, uh, okay. um, she, she finds out about her father's affair. Uh, and he has to fess up yeah. to her about yeah. it. So it's quite a... Naughty, naughty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, you've also got uh, Jas Slavic. Now, Joss now, yeah. uh, was in Love Story, and the yeah. first time I saw Joss was um, doing uh, that wonderful Spring Awakening. Oh, yeah, I, l I watched it from the stage. Oh, my God. Fantastic. Amazing. Now, Amazing. Such a shame he didn't find a wide audience that yeah. show. Um, and also, he yeah. was uh, in that with Lucy and A. Barker, so that's yeah, how I first met him, and we did Love Story together, so Joss is going to come and do something as well. And we've also got two other um, uh, very young, um, talented people, a guy called Tyrone Huntley. Yeah. 
Now, I first met Tyrone uh, doing the Tim Williams Awards, and he sang on, on that, and I just was blown away by his, his singing. He's currently yeah. doing uh, playing TJ on Tour and Sister. Oh, wow. And he's really, wow. really talented. So I've asked oh, him to come and. I think, I think I just an interview with him. Ah, well. Oh, if you're watching, hit me up, yeah? yeah. Do it. Do it, yeah. See? You've been <laughs> sold. Um, um, so wow. Tyrone's coming, and then. Um, I guess another uh, aspect to, to, to what I've been doing, especially over the last five or ten years, is the teaching. Yeah. And one yeah. of my students, one of my ex-students, who's just got a scholarship to Nam, a guy called Samuel Nam, oh, yeah. he's coming to sing, would you believe, Bring Him Home. Oh, oh, that song breaks my heart. He is, oh, my he God. is just phenomenal. Yeah. Really. You're going to absolutely love him. Do you think he's going to be the next Bao Zhang? He's got yeah. the potential. Yes, he has. Wow. He's 19, but he's got wow. the potential. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so wow. he's coming as well. Uh, At 19 years old, and he can hit that song. Wow. He does it beautifully. Yeah. Beautifully. He's a fully mature artist already. So, but he's just got this uh, scholarship. And, Be careful. Um, he's not going to fit in through the door. He's like going to go, <laughs> boom. Oh, my God. I hope his head <laughs> no, doesn't grow. No. <laughs> we don't like that. Um, now, you also have um, Eve Polycarpi. My sister. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, look, the name seems familiar. Where does he that? Eve's oh. been a singer-songwriter for many, many years. Yeah. Uh, she used and she still works occasionally with Martha Lewis, and oh, they had cool. this this uh, uh, a duet called um, well nowadays it's called Martha and Eve, but they used yeah. to, they used to be called Donna and KBB, uh, okay. and they they performed nearly all over the country in different places. The comedian Brighton, but festivals in Europe. Yeah. And, um, and they've been uh, very powerful singer-songwriters. Oh, and cool. They've been working together for years, and Eve is a great uh, you know singer in her own yeah, right, yeah. and she's bringing along with her a, a very different friend of mine, Stephen Fletcher, um, and they're going to sing a song with me, but they're also going to do a solo as well. So. Oh, is that weird, singing with your sister? Like do you know something? I hardly ever get the chance to do no? it, and oh, so cool. it's going to be so You're like, this wonderful. is my evening, I want to sing with her. You're right. Yeah. Good times, and you have a huge choir. Yes, we do. Wow. We've got, we've got 30... Um, students from either Mount View or Arts Ed come yeah. to sing in our choir. We've also got a principal ensemble of about Future ten. Future of the West End. I hope so yeah. because they, we did some serious auditions for these people, and um, they, uh, you know, they're very, very talented. There's some great voices in there. Oh, cool! Well, that is amazing. Of course, it's Sunday, December the 11th. Sunday, December the 11th. At the Garrick, be there. The Garrick Theatre, please be there. Um, please buy tickets. The, uh, buy tickets. They're not. They're, they're, they're okay. They're well priced. No. Twenty-one pounds up to thirty-six. Yes. And Why not? Yes, if you a book, I think more than 20, I think you get a dis discount on that as well. So well it's a Sunday. Come on, the shows are going to be like, yeah, we're not doing a Sunday show. Let's go. Yeah, see? No excuse. Um, now, you can book them on 08444, that's 08444, 829-673, or on nymexseries.com, or on your website as well. Yes, you can. That's you go cool. through my website, but you can also... Um, there's a Twitter um, a page as well. Yeah. Um, Polycarpo S O M L at Polycarpo S O M L, and if you go to the Twitter page, there's always updates on there oh, yeah. all the time. And I think my uh, Twitter um, uh, moniker is at Polly What Do. I know. I wanted to talk to you about that. <laughs> that is the most awesome Twitter name in the world. Well, it's what I do, ever. isn't it? I mean, it's, it's kind awesome. of Polly What Doodles. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I I'll never forget, actually, I met him many, many years ago. A lot of you will, will remember a guy called Kenny Everett. Oh, yeah. He was yeah. a DJ, sadly uh, passed away. But yeah. uh, I met him many, many years ago, and I asked him for his autograph. Uh -huh. And he wrote on the autograph, he didn't just write on the autograph, he said, may your Polly Wally doodle all the day. Oh. And I've always okay. remembered that, and, and I kind of used it. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So it comes from Kenny wow. Everett. That's awesome. Now I know the background. That's cool. Um, now, obviously, we just touched on your career, so I want to just touch back on it again. Sure. Um, you've done some films. Wow. Evita with Madonna. I danced with Madonna. You danced with Madonna? I did. I did. Um, oh, my God. She was as close as you are to me now. Oh, wow. You? That is cool. <laughs> we, we tripped the light fantastic together. Wow. <laughs> um, I remember it very well. Uh, we had a whole day practically dancing together. Um, in this huge, great ballroom, and yeah. she was just magnificent in the film. I think she should have got far more credit than she actually yeah, did. Yeah, I film. love that She film. was just I brilliant in the film, and Jonathan Price was in that as well. The first day I arrived on the set for Evita, yeah. they were filming the funeral, and oh. would you believe there were four thousand extras? Really? Four, oh, wow! Can you imagine that? Four thousand extras no, that's huge. pulling this huge, great beer, and you know it, it, they were wow. all in costume, and they all had to be fed. And there's can you imagine watching it go? Oh, oh, oh! There Four from the right. That's me. That's me. Yeah, four thousand yeah, from the yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, There I am. <laughs> wow. So it was, it was an incredible experience, and I enjoyed it enormously. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And my favorite by far, Oklahoma. 
Oh my God, you played Alex like Keen. I did. So I did. cool. I loved yeah. that. I loved it. I, I, I think I wore it at the table. Well, I think I did. that's very interesting because I, I, it's one of those parts that I really felt very close to because yeah. he's kind of a little bit from my background, Elliot. Yeah. You know, he kind of comes from an ethnic background. He's got this, you know, uh, ethnicity about him in, in the, within the musical. Yeah. which is hardly ever seen in the no, musicals no. of that time. And he's a salesman, and there's the patter as well as everything else. Uh, but also, he's the this, this schmoozer, romancer, yeah. you know. Uh, so it was a great part of it. But we also had the most phenomenal cast. I know, it's amazing. I mean, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman, Maureen Littman. Maureen Littman. Wow. Unbelievable. You know, Josephine and Gabrielle. Cool. Yeah. It was just an incredible cast. Sheila Hensley. Uh, I don't think that could ever have been better than that. Anyway, no. I... Uh, um, well, I think someone said at the time that it was like the definitive production it's, of Oklahoma, yeah, yeah. and you know, they're not far wrong. I well, think it was if really, someone really wishes well for Christmas, hint, hint, hello. <laughs> DVD, huh? Yeah. Huh? <coughs> well, if you want it out, you know. Yeah, I need, one. I need a new one. I need a new one. You you also had a lead role in O Jerusalem. I did. Yeah. Um, oh, that and that's a film that was yes, it was released yeah. in France, and it's a film about the um, the birth of the state of Israel. Wow. It's based on on the book yeah, um, yeah. of the same name, but um, that had Ian Home in it as well. Oh, yeah. It's an extraordinary film, uh, a kind of sweep of history. History, and uh, there's also this wonderful um, a Moroccan uh, French actor yeah. um, whose name is just has just gone out of my head. Um, it will come to me, it will come to me, it will come back to me later about that. Well, but, but, yeah, at the end of the interview you go, ding, there yes, it is. Yes, exactly. Um, he plays one of the leads in this film. Yeah. And um, it, 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 it's really all about how the state of Israel came into being for the first time and what oh, it did yeah, to the Palestinian yeah. state and how the Palestinians and, and Jews that lived in Jerusalem yeah. uh, then went, you know, kind of uh, to, to war as a result of the UN vote. And, oh. you know, it's about, you know, how oh. the Arabs kind of left yeah. um, the Palestinians behind instead of arming them. And, and because of that, there was this huge turmoil wow. at the time. Yeah. That's, that's a big political it's show. Yeah, yeah, it's an it's extraordinary quite, yeah. Yeah. Um, now, also you've done done stage. Um, you was oh, I love this the original London John in Miss Saigon. I was. Wow. Yeah. Thank we do it. Um, and I, I, I think when I first started singing that song, I realised uh, it, it was one of those very powerful moments. Yeah. Um, and I would always get you know the the hairs on the back of my head yeah. standing up when I sang it. it was, and it was and still is, and I'm doing I'm doing that. Obviously, I could oh, I could wow. not do we do it. Oh, this is getting better. <laughs> oh my God. See, people are gonna watch this and go, oh, but take it, but take it. I hope so. I have, they have to. Um, I walked past Leia Salonga once. Yeah. Just walked past. Just let her go. Right. I was like, ah. Ships that pass in the night, was it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, I wish I'd said, said, oh, oh my God. Oh. Yeah, I might have flashed that a little bit. She's an incredibly talented. She, she is. still is. I mean, yeah. she was then for her. Age. She was amazing. Yeah. She, I think she was probably about 18. She was a baby, 18 yeah, then, wow. and she sang probably about 17 songs during the course of the evening, eight shows a week. Yeah. To have that sort of range and depth and clarity. Oh, of course, and singing yeah. Was just extraordinary. And um, I don't think I don't think Kim has ever really been better. No, no. But uh, well, we'll never know. <sighs> It'll be back. I hope it will be. Back. I'm so. I hope it will be. Back. Yeah. You never know. Um, you was also original cast like Miss. Yes. Not original, original, because my God, that's uh, that's like France. Oh, I see no. what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> not not that not that original. <laughs> but the but first yeah. time it was ever done on the London stage. Yeah. Uh, 1985 at the Barbican. Yeah. Uh, I play Jean Prouvaire. Oh, of and course. he's the one that waves the flag at the back. That's, oh, yeah. And then um, I think. I always wish I could do that. Just get up on the barricade and be like, yeah. <laughs> I used to love it, actually. I used to stand there waving it. But um, I think. I think I was in it about six or seven months before yeah. um, Cameron called me into his office and he said, would I be interested in taking over Grand Air? Ah. So I did Grand Air after that, I took over from Clive Carter. Yeah. And then I eventually did um, Tenaglia. So wow, yeah. I kind of worked my way through the show. That is an awesome role. I love Tenaglia. You can just have fun with it. Yeah. I gather that uh, Jeffrey Rush is playing Tenaglia. Yeah, well, the rumor being, yeah. has it been confirmed yet? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And, but you know, maybe the, the negotiations being what they are. Yeah. Who knows? It'll be good if it was. My God, that's cool. And he's a terrific actor. Yeah. Um, now, also, you was Phantom. Oh my God. 
got some voice on you. I wore the mask. Yeah, you did. But I like having like the, the prosthetics on your face. Well, in those days, you know, they used to take about 90 minutes of the makeup. Really? These days, they have a piece which they just, just kind of stick on you. Yeah. And it takes about 20 minutes. But it took me forever, so I used to have to oh, be wow. there before everybody else. And then finish after everybody else had gone. Oh, so, so everyone yeah. going head down. Bye, bye, bye. Like, it's yeah, one of those yeah, roles. Well, yeah, exactly. It's yeah. one of those sort of roles that you never really get to meet the rest of the company as yeah. well. Yeah. You're only on stage once or twice with the rest of the company. And, and all the other times you're kind of singing to Christine. And it's, yeah. a, it's a pretty, you know, solitary role. Who was your Christine? Um, there were two. Yeah. Um, one was. Oh, was that uh, Jill, Jill Washington? Okay, yeah. Um, and Gina Beck, I think, was another oh, one. Oh, Gina yes, Beck, yes, wow. Yes. She's going to have to live with her. Yes. Awesome. yes. She'll be terrific. She yeah. She's played my daughter in something else. Really? Yes. She wow. played my daughter in Imagine This. Oh, there we go. The first time we did it in Plymouth. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's a small world, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, also, you was in the premiere of The Woods at the Finsbury Theatre. Yes, David Mallet. Yeah. That's hot. I mean, you've done so much theatre. It's amazing. Do you like new theatre? I like new writing. Yeah. I think it's important for any actor to kind of... Um, build um, you know, their knowledge of their, their craft yeah. by doing lots of different work. And, and I've, I've also never wanted to just be thought of as you know, an actor that only does musical theatre. So yeah, I, yeah. Took a, I took a decision quite a few years ago to actually strengthen um, what I did outside musical theatre and to continue to work maybe on a smaller scale and to do smaller theatres and certainly to do new work and new yeah. writing. And I've, and I've also really always enjoyed working with young people as well. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's good very young yeah. director, a guy called Robert Shaw that directed that. Yeah. Um, and I think it, it, it was one of the, it was the European premiere of the day. Yeah. And we played it at uh, the Thimbra Theatre. Um, yes, I, it, it's quite an extraordinary little play, actually, about two people who go away for the weekend and the whole thing centres around the fact that they're, they're locked into this space yeah. together in this cabin in the woods. Oh, right, right. They can't get away awesome. from each other. Awesome, cabin fever. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, now, also, you've done TV. Well, Lots of TV. I have. Um, Birds of a Feather. Yes. Recognize his face. Chris Theodopoulos. <laughs> In those days, yeah. I, used to, I used to have a little bit more hair. Um, oh, yeah. But Chris uh, took up about six years of my life. Yeah. And I, I used to watch that when I was little. Yeah. We don't need to say that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people did. Um, and a lot of people still come up to me and say, you know, I, I, they watched it when they were growing up. Yeah. And, um, it, it's. It was very important in my life. It kind of opened a whole uh, different world to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So obviously, um, theatre. Everyone sees the theatre, but not everyone remembers people from the theatre. So, do you get recognised from the TV more, or like people come down and go, "Oh my God, I saw you in Phantom, or I saw you in Lee It's a tough one. I, I, like I said earlier, I've been around so long. Yeah. I mean, yeah Thirty-two years I've been around. Wow. It's a long time. Uh, but people. Yeah. You know, do sometimes say to me, "Why well, saw you, you know, in such and such a, a role?" Um, uh, for instance, someone said to me only the other day that they'd yeah. seen me in the Bridewell Theatre doing oh. the Tura Ui, and that would have been about 15 years wow, ago. Wow. So I do Good get memory. that, and occasionally yeah. I get people who still remember me from Bridewell. Oh, um, cool. But it's not like you know, I've, I've, no, I've never been one of those actors who's kind of been a leading man. Yeah. I've always been a character actor, and I think I, I prefer that way because yeah. you know, I think character actors have a longer shelf life. Oh, of course. Yeah, so you gotta keep changing. And so I don't mind, you know, I don't mind not being out there doing the leading role for me. Uh, it's more important that um, you know, the, the part that I'm playing has interesting writing yeah, and there's yeah. some interesting characters. So that's, that's really what I Oh, that's look good, for. yeah. Um, well, obviously, that's, that's what I would look for anyway. Because you don't want to go, oh, I want to do this, I want to be a star. So no. I've never wanted to be a star. Yeah. I've never. I've always. So I've never wanted to be Hugh Jackman yeah. or, or Michael Ward. I just wanted to work. With I just want to work. I just want to work with. Yeah. You know, That's so true. I want to work with good people, and I, because I think that theatre is a character. Kind of that makes it more fun yeah. for you as well. Yes. Yeah. It does. And have you ever been on the stage, Wendy? I have not. No. Any I'm plans not. to audition for um, oh, something in the near future? Oh, do you sing a bit well too? Um. No. Well, I do, but not well. <laughs> so. 
Absolutely, but then you've got something like, uh, you know, um, the Wizard of Oz show. Oh, yeah. And a lot of women, uh, you know, did when um, he had 13, 14 weeks of yeah. publicity for a show to find um, you know, someone to play historically. Um, no, I, I, I personally, I think that if you want to do musical theatre, that's yeah. fine. But, but, but training is really important for oh, any yeah. actor. Yeah. And I don't see that the performance in front of a live audience necessarily is the right kind of training. Yeah. That doesn't do it for me. So I would say to any young person that wants to get yeah. involved in musical theatre, go out there and go and do an accrediting course for three years or maybe even one year and if you're really, really ready. Um, and then see what happens. Pick yourself yeah. against the other people that are out there and audition and see what happens. Just, yeah, go through it first. Don't just throw yourself in. Yeah, because I, I mean, can work sometimes, but uh, well, no. another thing that happens these days is that you get a lot of talented stars yeah. who go into roles that they're yeah. not particularly suited to, but because they're going to fill those roles. Yeah. 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 Which is great for the understudy. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they get that stage time. But, but uh, they're bringing people to the theatre. So yeah. That's the way that they're used. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Well, that was interesting. There we go. Um, a bit of a it is, yeah, we kind of sidetracked here. Uh, now let's get back to uh, TV, TV. Yeah, so you wrote. Yeah, you, you wrote and co-directed a short Mad film. George. Yeah, Mad George. Yes, it is. That's awesome. It took me about a year to uh, work from start to finish about a year and a half. Wow. And I self-financed it. I um, called in a lot of favors. And I wrote it, directed it, co-edited it. So um, That's amazing. Yes, I started it. So and I you won awards for it. Well, it did. It got shortlisted for a, a short film award in Tasmania, yeah. and it won uh, a, um, a, an award in Canada. Uh, it was uh, it was very well received. Um, it's really about this, this guy that I met. I, yes. I actually met the guy from oh, Matt wow. George. Oh, wow. And he, he was driving a cab that I was in, a really cab driver. And I'll never forget, one of the first things he ever said to me was, so I had that 38 in a, in a mouth. Yeah. And I, uh, said, I wow. said, yeah, I said, you're not going to take those kids from me. Oh. And it's more or less, that's how he nice. started. Yeah. The Hello, welcome to my camp. That's nice. Con yeah. He was a bit of a nutter. Did you kind of feel comfortable? And you're like, oh, great, yeah, that's well, wonderful. I didn't that's feel threatened, but no. I did feel uncomfortable. 
Yeah. And, what do you say to that? Well, oh, I, I kind nice. of engaged him in conversation because I knew there was a very interesting character there. Yeah. And it did form the basis of his character in the films. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah no, I, I wonder if he's still driving cabs. He probably and is. Guns oh. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, now I want to talk about teaching. Yes. You teach. I do. That's awesome. I've, I've taught workshops and um, acting and, and singing for uh, probably about 10 years now. Yeah. And it's very important to me actually that I get involved in teaching and I continue to teach. Yeah. Because uh, it, uh, all I do, is, I'm never trained as a proper teacher, but yeah. all I do is really teach what I know. Yeah, you pass on your knowledge. Yes, That's and cool. I kind of yeah. try to teach the way I work. Yeah. That works for other people. And that's I awesome. Can help. And you have a summer school. I do. Called yeah. Through the stage through the door. Through the stage door. Yeah. That's such a cool name. Yeah. How, how, do you run that every year? Yes. Um, we have done for the last. We've only been doing uh, through the stage school, uh, through the stage door summer school for the last. Uh, three years, okay. and last year we couldn't because I was so busy doing other stuff. Yeah, huh. However, um, we're going to have one next year, uh, in August next year. Oh yeah, And cool. I, I take students from around about the age yeah. of 14 yeah. up to the age of about 20, 21. And when do you have to apply for that? Um, normally it's on the web. If you search on okay. the web, you, you, yeah, you normally have to apply by, by about April, May. Oh wow. And the places are you know, very, um, yeah, very yeah. sort of So we, we take about 30 or 40 <laughs> students, and that's more, wow. that's enough, you know, we don't want to have too yeah, many. Yeah. And they do things like, they do mime workshops, um, they'll do voice workshops, yeah. acting workshops, musical theatre, they do poetry, the yeah. evening yeah. teams, and yeah. Avenue Q workshops. Oh, yeah. Avenue Q. Which is a great show, isn't it? It is, it is. Yeah. Oh, I love Princeton. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, my yeah. love of Princeton. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. we don't even want to go there. <laughs> Is that a fact? Yeah. Oh, is that a sore point? It is. Oh, it is. He chose the monster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you do that? Not a lot. No. Not a lot. So um, we do yeah. all sorts of workshops, and at the end of the week they have a kind of performance um, oh, showcase. Cool, yeah. To we invite agents, we invite casting people, wow. and we even get the people because we're so close to uh, Kingston, we get yeah. Kingston Youth Theatre and Kingston Theatre. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And I've had three of my students um, gone on to uh, join the National Youth Theatre. Oh wow! So I'm very proud of that. Yeah, that's awesome. They go, where did you start? And they can go, oh, through the stage door. I hope so. Yeah. That's where I started. Um, well, that's what we aim to do, so we want to get through the stage door. Exactly. Oh, that's a good, I did, do you know, I didn't even think about it like that. That's oh what I called it. There we go. Um, now, more recently. They're after me. They, they are. He's not here. Let's uh, <coughs> on. More recently, um, yes. you played Beetle Bamford in Sweeney Todd. Yes, I did, and I, awesome. I'm hoping to in the, in the very near future. Yeah, well that was with Michael Ball as Sweeney. Yeah, yeah. And of course we know it's going to be yeah. empty in yes. March. Yes, I was there this afternoon. Yeah. Um, and Imelda Staunton is playing Mrs. Lovett. That, yeah, that's amazing. They are just the most perfect um, do so in that in those yeah. roles. Um, they complement each other in an extraordinary way. I've got John Bow playing opposite me as the judge yeah. and um, John comes from a very uh, television background yeah. as well. You know his face instantly if you saw him. Um, and it was one of those productions which really fitted the glove that um, you know Jonathan Kent uh, yeah. made for and Anthony Ward awesome. together. They kind of um, drew up a completely different design concept for it. Yeah, and it just yeah. seems to have really worked yeah. for the production. I can't wait to see it. I honestly am going to book no. my tickets as soon as it comes out. Do you know a film called Ten, Ten Rennington Place? Place? Is it? No. Well, if you look at Ten Rennington Place, yeah. that will be a kind of backdrop to the idea of the design. Oh. It's this kind of seedy London at the 1940s. Yeah. Yeah. Really and that's what they've gone for rather than oh, the Victorian. Oh, wow. Awesome. awesome. Oh, that's very really different. Very yeah. Very very, very, yeah, kind of steel, and uh, very shuttered. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's It is. Look, it is. I can't wait yeah. for that one. And the music um, is, so it's a master. Oh, of course, yeah. And we do 